Welcome to the age of digital surveillance, where privacy is becoming a relic of the past. Remember that Windows crash that happened recently, or that Windows IPv6 vulnerability that impacts all Windows systems using IPv6, which is enabled by default? Or there is also the arrest of Telegram CEO Pavel Durov. No matter your stance on the app, this event sent shockwaves through the tech world. And why did the boys in blue pay so much attention to some messaging app? It's not about the alleged illegal activity on the app. It's about the lack of control over it for the big brother. And sometimes it's not even about privacy or security. It's about monopolies like Google with a lawsuit over their head or Microsoft. If one fails, we all fail. Imagine if half of the systems that crashed that day were using some version of Linux. Half of the people could have avoided the trouble. And not to mention, there are no innovations. Google's most used servers became unusable, and if there was some competition, they'd have to fight to get to the top. And all this just goes to show what age we are currently living in. It's truly scary stuff. Remember the time in the internet where you could say that you hate your government without getting arrested? Well, neither do I. But here's a kicker. It doesn't have to be this way. We can reclaim our privacy and fight back against the big corp. How? By taking control of our tech choices and switching to alternatives that respect our privacy. So in this video I'll show you just a couple of ways to be more private on the internet. First off, let's talk operating system. The Linux community is your ally in this fight. Unlike Windows, Linux is open source, customizable and doesn't have a ton of tracking, data mining and just bloat. It puts you in a driver's seat and not some corporate overlord. You get to choose what to put on your system. So you wouldn't be stuck with a Cortana or your gaming session wouldn't be just interrupted by some great update. And all the old arguments for not using Linux are disappearing day by day. Have you heard of the Steam Deck? Yes, this thing. Yeah, it uses Linux. So now more and more people use it, which in the long run means the Linux community will grow. There will be more and more enthusiasts who create better and better distros. At under 5% market share and with just the community and not some big core building it, Linux already is if not as good, then even better than Windows. I myself started my Linux journey and to make my experience as smooth as possible, I installed Linux on one of my old SSD drives, while I still have my Windows machine on an M.2 drive, if I ever need it. And of course there is a learning curve, as is with everything. But again, to make the experience as smooth as possible, you can try something like Mint or Ubuntu. They are Windows-like, don't require tinkering with a console and in general are very user friendly. And when you get more comfortable with this thing, you can move on to something like Arch. Next up, let's talk browsers. And let's also talk your search engine, cause if you didn't know already, you can change it. Google may be the go-to, but it's also the ultimate tracker. Ditch it for some alternatives like Firefox or any of its forks. Chromium based browsers may be familiar and good looking, but they're still Chromium based. I for some time used Arc because of those vertical tabs, but you can do this in Firefox. If you're interested, there is a link to this article in the description. As for search engines, I would recommend DuckDuckGo, but there were some news about them removing Russian propaganda, and it not only contours the unbiased part, but in my opinion, if they can throw that out of the window, then they can do so with privacy part. Time will tell, but for now I'll use it alongside something like Brave. But in any case, no matter the browser you end up choosing, go into the settings and disable all the unnecessary stuff. Not every website needs all the cookies and your location. Now the messaging. And in my mind, they can have my Google search history. I don't have the money to buy every stupid thing that they show in ads. I don't read Google News, nor do I change my political views. I'm too old for that. But my messages are sacred. First of all, if you're using something from the Zuckerberg, then just stop. And if you're a Telegram user like me, then there is an alternative called Signal. They have end-to-end -end encryption, which Telegram offers only in secret chats. Signal does not have as many cool features as Telegram, but as with Linux, it just needs more users. You know, Telegram wasn't always that great. 
me and my friends made a switch a few years ago, just because of the encryption and those smooth stickers. So just give it some time, a few mills and funding, and we'll have Telegram 2.0 with the real end-to-end -end encryption in every chat. Some people say that the life of Telegram is over, but even if French wouldn't let Pavel off the hook, the Telegram will live at least for a while. But in any case, save your data if you were using it. Now, I don't want to spread paranoia or make you feel like you're living in the constant state of surveillance. The goal here is simply to have a plan B, a backup. Even if you're not fully immersed in the privacy movement, a simple change can help you to stay secure and in control. It's about being proactive and prepared. Having a plan or an alternative is always a good move, no matter how tech-savvy or paranoid you are. So there you have it. But of course, I didn't cover all the ways that you can take back your privacy. You can go on and watch some vids on the same topic from other YouTubers. I'll leave some in the description. Linus for escaping Google, Mura for Linux, and Mental Outlaw to hit that paranoia part of your brain. And I did mention some of more radical options like Tails OS or Tor or for messaging, I don't know, running your own server. Because if you need that, then this video isn't for you. But you can always share your knowledge in the comments. Anyway, stay informed, stay secure, and keep your digital life under your control.